What is up, all you beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of the Only Chests Iron Man series. So I just want to get a few, uh, I guess, like housekeeping things out of the way in regards to other things uh, for the channel. So as far as the one chunk, one tile Iron Man account that uh, I was working on is going, I have loved that account, but it has been incredibly frustrating. It's... I think it's like every update my tiles wipe and I just I can't keep up with it. I know that there's a plugin that, that you can use that like exports and imports and for whatever reason it's capped at like a number. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to understand it. So that series, uh, unfortunately, for the time being, is not going to be occurring at the moment. Uh, RNG to me kind of felt like a normal account, so I'm not entirely sure I'm going to go back to that one either. I just wasn't it didn't feel fun for me just kind of felt like i was on a normal account um the grinds there weren't really any so we're me solely focusing on the only chest series uh, my wife and i are moving into a new house relatively soon within the next six weeks so i'm gonna be pretty busy with that um but yeah so you guys will just get the only chest i'm gonna be continuing to try to put out videos once every two to three weeks uh just because you know i've been really busy in real life but this episode is packed full of the good only chest content, so you guys will not be disappointed. We do return to Gauntlet. Uh, see if we can get anything juicy from there as well from the chest that we will be opening in this video. And then we'll be opening a lot of hard clues and brimstone, um, going back, getting a bunch of levels uh, for raids and just prepping for TOA. I'm super excited. If you guys end up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on this bell notifications. Without further ado, let's get into that beautiful content. Another successful task done. Man, what a task that was. Let's go ahead and snag another one. Blood Velds in the Catacombs of Corand Love. To see that, let's open up these three brimstone chests here. Four Torstal Seeds, 150 Gold Ore, and three Snapdragon Seeds. I really do love the seeds. And then, of course, we have a beautiful hard clue casket. And unique! Oh, all right. We got the Armadillo Kite Shield. That's new. Looks like we already have the Nunchaku, so that's pretty neat. Man, we get so many purple sweets, but um, I'm always going to be happy when we get a unique with the hard clues based on how many we've done, so that's really nice to see. Uh, Kingdom really has been coming in clutch. We've been getting a good amount of seeds. We've been going through, and that is 74 farming. We can now plant the best thing over at uh, the farming minigame, so... I don't think we'll ever return to there, uh, maybe to, I honestly couldn't tell you. So I don't think we'll ever go back there, but it is nice to get another level on the account. That is 1858 total level now. Not the best task for keys, unfortunately, that one. We do get cow fights in the cow fight layer. Probably won't end up doing that. Well, let's just go ahead and slap this one open. Hey, we got 104k, almost enough to recharge the crystal bow. So that is pretty nice. Uh, I'm just gonna cancel this. Hopefully we can get something a little bit more rewarding experience wise. Water Fiends in the Cracking Cove. It's been a really long time since I've done those, so I don't think I'm gonna do this either, but uh, I'm not gonna sit here and show you all the tasks I'll be canceling. Not a very exciting task that we got. We got Dagonoths. We ended up getting a medium clue. I love to get worms. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Well, I finally get rangers. Let's see. We do not. We do get purple elegant legs. None of these are uniques, though. We're closing in on 300 mediums completed on the account. Love to see a very successful task. Let's go ahead and snag another summit. Drakes. All right. <laughs> I guess I'll be doing those. I don't think I've actually gotten those yet, so very interested. I'm going to look them up, make sure I can actually do them, but I don't see why we can't. Let's go ahead and open up this brimstone chest, 12 rune ore, love to see that, 78 dragon arrowheads, some runeful homes for Alking, and two magic seeds, absolutely beautiful, hard to believe we've really opened this chest 236 times, to be honest, and for our hard casket, nothing exciting there, law runes, always nice, uh, we get some Alks. All right, I'm looking forward to this Drake's task though, that'll be really nice. So like I said last time, I've never really done Drake's before, but uh, oh, they're kind of boring. <laughs> and, they're, and they're not as AFK as Worms. I mean, I do have like anti-fire pods, so 
can just like protect myself <laughs> majority of the time. But uh, ranging them seems to be the best option since I use a lot less supplies. I don't have to use fruit or anything since I'm 100% protected. But I'm thinking I might go do some gauntlet today. So the next couple of clips just might be some chest opening. I think this is gauntlet. Ch oh my gosh, the crack in my voice. I think this is gauntlet chest 79 here. So we can snag. We are just re realistically after... Uh, they're crystal shards, so not too bad for us. I'm just going to be chilling, having a good time, doing regular gauntlet. Chest number 80 here. Ooh, get some emeralds, and there's some rune arrows. Yeah, I love to see that. We also got five crystal shards. Very nice. Very, very nice. Quick shout out to my buddy, City Locked. So close to 80 range, just being a free-to-play, and just <laughs> at the moment, confined to Varrock and Falador. Let's go ahead and open up our gauntlet chest there i don't even know what casey that was <laughs> no 81 i guess cool all right so we got six uncut rubies honestly not a lot that's really low uh five crystal shards though that's the max which is nice and some rune chain bunnies ah there we go we got 90 range during that gauntlet run <laughs> obviously wasn't expecting it we got it during the hunlet fight let's go ahead and open up this reward chest here a lot of cosmic runes, some blood runes, and six crystal shards. Love to see it. I know I've only gotten two range levels since the last time I was here, but I really feel like I'm hitting a lot more with range, which is really nice. Seeing those max hits, and uh, I love it. All right, three crystal shards at a time, four battle stabs, and four rune full helms. Alrighty, KC number 84. Ooh, six crystal shards, six battle stabs, and 37 uncut emeralds. I love to see the crystal shards when they're maxed already not our fastest hun lift time but two minutes 17 seconds is a pretty good let's go ahead and slap this open that was kc number 85 so we got full crystal shards again love to see it and uh some rubies that's always good to make a lot of adamant ruby e bolts for raids and some rune full helms that's kc 86 down let's go ahead and see what we can get here all right, so we got some sapphires, four crystal shards, and two rune plate uh, skirts. That's nice. Let's go ahead and see what we've gotten so far from here. It's probably over 600. Yeah, right over 600k. I love these alks. Now that I'm using the crystal bows, so the ca <laughs> the cash. I'm really back here just because I need cash uh, to recharge them. So we'll be here for a little bit, probably to 100kc, and then I might head back to do some slayer. And we'll uh, check in on our crystal shards. I think we'll probably have around four or five hundred by that point. KC eighty seven here. Ooh, all right. Some rune halberds. Those out well. Five crystal shards. Love that we're staying at average. So that's really nice. And uh, one hundred ninety three chaos runes. Hey, there we go. There's a new best time for the gauntlet. I knew my prep time was like super fast. So that was nice. And then the hunlift kill time was also pretty respectable as well. Let's go ahead and open that up. Only three crystal shards that time, that's fine, but we got four battle stabs and 238 chaos runes. KC 89 here. Okay. Three crystal shards. Not the best, but we do get some more rune arrows. That'll be nice. And uh, rune halberds. It's KC number 90 here. We got rune plate skirt, six uncut diamonds, and only three crystal shards. Chest time. Let's see if we can get anything unique from this hard clue oh okay so we got a guthix plate skirt that is new for us we also got a thieving bag not too bad that's a double unique there but we already had the one so always love to see that we're also up to 300 crystal shards so i need uh 1600 more since my bofa is fully charged i need 100 less it's not the most riveting task for us, but these specters have gotten us 85 Slayer. Absolutely beautiful. We now can kill Abyssal Demons, although we really have no reason to, other than they have a pretty good uh, key rate. So it's pretty exciting to get that. We are pretty far from 91 range, but uh, so far so good. Another successful task done. All right, let's go ahead and open up the two Brimstone key chests that we got. Five Snapdragon Seeds, love to see that. 175 Raw Swordfish. Don't really need that since we get it from Kingdom. We're sitting on 1860 total level, so close 
270 million experience. Let's go ahead and get a task. Jellies in the Firmin Slayer dungeon. I love that. It's going to be a nice range task for us. And then for our hard clue, nothing too exciting, but at least there are some Alks there. We really have been getting a lot of hard clues these past couple tasks. I'm very happy with that. We got Dust Devils and Catacombs of Crane. That will be a nice mage task for us. 100% be bursting those. Let's go ahead and open up this Brimstone chest. 27 rubies. And then, of course, I will do all the hards until I at least get a Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. I'm not expecting it, but that's really what I want. And that is pretty bad for value. I'm not going to lie. But at least the next task should be some keys and a decent amount of magic experience. Hmm. You know, it's times like these where I remember I have not had a dust devil's task in a long time and i don't know why for whatever reason i thought this was gonna be a burst task because i don't have a slayer helmet so i have to use a face mask and i cannot cast ancients without having the full set on so i just wasted time running out there to switch but yeah uh i guess it's gonna be a melee task instead time for some more gauntlet let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and that is Casey what was that 93 all right not too bad I'm definitely feeling a lot better uh, than what I was earlier in the week so we're definitely back here gauntlet need to get more of these shards Casey number 94 and congrats to father duo for hitting 80 defense and 108 combat let's go ahead and see what we can get here all right that's way better than last time we got five crystal shards this time all right Casey number 95 uh, here a gauntlet Oh, we get the max shards. I do like that. Uh, their stuff is pretty irrelevant. KC96. Gonna get some good shards. Oh, that was not very good. Uh, four, it's a little below average, but that's fine. At least we got some Alks. KC number 97 here. Can we get anything useful? Uh, not really. I do love the Alks, though, because I haven't put a lot of money in with the Crystal Bows, so it's not too bad, but... Really hoping to see more than just three crystal shards. Number 98 here. That was a... Was that a personal list? No, 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 it wasn't. Wow, we got a lot of cosmic runes. <laughs> wow, five crystal shards. It's average. It's fine. Number 99. Just one away from that fabled 100. All right, that was a good amount of crystal shards. Love to see that. Sevens I will always take. I don't care what anything else is. Ah, uh, there we are, the big 100 KC achieved at Gauntlet. Let's go ahead and slap this chest open. Oh, another max crystal shard. Love to see that. We're play potting some dragon arrows. Not too shabby. Oh, <laughs> yes. I was like, I was going to be done for the day, and I just decided, you know what? Let's just full send a corrupted Gauntlet. And I'm telling you, it really is just like a DPS check for me because I do not have the prey the prayers for this so like i did run out of food but i played that about as perfectly as i could and i even had like i think it's like 21 food in the prep tier 2 armor like barely had any time left when i was done oh it feels so nice to actually have this all right let's go ahead and open the chest and see what we can snag here all right eight crystal shards 149 blood runes 54 uncut sapphires and 150 nature runes you know what it feels so nice to get this corrupted gauntlet casey out of the way it was haunting me and i figured you know what let's just full send go for it absolutely beautiful i am so so excited the fight took five minutes that's crazy you know, I honestly can't think of a better way to end this episode than with that corrupted gauntlet KC. Oh, it felt so nice <laughs> to get that done. It truly, truly did. I know I can do it. it. Just has to be pretty much perfect and I have to hit. So we'll be trying more of those once we get better prayers. Returning to Chambers of Zarek to get rigor and augury would be absolutely massive. Also, an absolutely complete idiot, and I'm never using like these, so I definitely am going to when I'm in there. I don't know why I just didn't think of using those prayers while fighting Hunliff. It just never occurred to me until my brother said something. He's like, yeah, you should definitely be using those. It's like, yeah, you're totally right. I'm an idiot, and I don't know why I wasn't. 
But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. We're sitting at 1860 total level, over 70 million experience. We're pretty close to 91 range. I don't care about any more Slayer levels, to be completely honest with you. I'm just excited to get those 2,000 Crystal Shards to imbue this bad boy. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really am going to be continuing to do those hard clues. They are important because if we can get those Dragon Boots, that's going to be my best in slot for melee. And that's going to be absolutely a massive upgrade because right now I'm just using Dehide Boots for defensive bonus and that is it. We've got the, uh, the not the Manacles. Why can't I think of what they're called? They're, it's from a medium. Yes. I'm recovering from being sick, so <laughs> I can't think straight. The Shackles? I don't think that's what they're called either. <laughs> just roast me. Roast me in the comments. Just tell me what they are. I can't remember. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, I just want to give a special shout out to my channel members. We have acquired a new one. So thank you guys so much um, for Father Duo and Rob K, and then our newly acquired member, Tom. Thank you so much for signing up and supporting the channel. You guys go above and beyond. For everyone else, thank you all so much for watching and liking the video, and I will see all you beautiful people next episode.